No, uh, what is it? I'm just saying that if you're going to look like that, there's... <coughs> you're much too beautiful to be destroyed. <coughs> you're much too beautiful to be destroyed, so I'll keep my comments to myself about your outfit. Listen, I, I don't want to be in the insurance game anymore. If you think I'm that beautiful, let's just run off together. Let's get just a little, a little place in the country and on our wall in gold leaf we can write up, up on the wall a line. Mmm, you smell so good. Mmm, <laughs> you smell so good. <laughs> Come on. And scene. Thank you, Andy. I have notes about what we're doing in one of these pockets. Okay. See, it's this pocket? Oh, oh never mind. No. I appreciate that. Okay, uh, Matt and Annie are going to be attending a public event. It is what? Christening. Wait, was it over here? Christening. A christening. A christening. You two will be attending a christening. And I have two envelopes with lines that they will have to read at some point during the scene. Uh, fun fact, the lines in this envelope I took from Aaron Cody Campbell's Twitter account earlier this week. <laughs> Oh, we're gonna use those at a christening? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> we're gonna, uh, all right, enjoy the christening. Uh, is this the place? Yeah, I guess. Are you here for the christening? Yeah, I've, I've never been to one. Me, I, me I me either. I, I don't have Hank. a clue. Uh, Joel. Nice to meet you, Joel. Um, nice so, to meet you, Hank. Uh, you want to just go in? Do we go in together? Is there like an order to this? I don't know. I was sitting outside for two hours waiting for the valet. They don't have valet parking. Oh, good thing I walked. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I should have. I just live across the street. <laughs> oh, it's yes, a nice little house, though. Oh, thank you. Thank you. My, my dad calls it a shack, but it's my shack. Yeah. My, my dad calls my house a shack, too. Don't feel too bad. I know the first time I had my dad over, he said, uh, walk right through the door of my shack, you know, and he says, wasn't looking for it. I was looking for the checkered. He thought I painted my house checkered. Just because oh. I like that pattern, he expected me to paint my house checkered. He must have gotten it confused with Shake Shack. I think they're a black and white checkered pattern. It, it's, it's a common mistake. No, um, he's just a jerk. It's, don't don't let it get you too down. So when when my dad used to say mean things like that to me, my grandpa would sit me on his knee, and he would say, "Well, the ref is done for." <laughs> I don't know what that means. So uh, my mother would referee fights between me and my father. Oh, you see, I get it. I get it. And she would just say, "I'm done with this," and then she'd go and sit in her chair and drink her cognac and smoke a cigar. It's that sounds like a great way to spend a day, rather than this, we should probably go in. Go I mean, on. I guess. I think we're supposed to whisper. I, are you sure? Hey, you said you haven't been to one before, right? That lady is looking at you like we should be whispering. Oh, she's mouthing something. Okay. All right. All right. So I'm not good at reading lips, but uh, she's back. <laughs> I don't know why she's mouthing that she's back to me. Maybe she knows my mom. Hey, do you know my mom? Oh, oh, we are supposed to be quiet. Okay, uh, let's find, find a seat. Okay. Pardon, excuse, pardon. I don't know what's so important about this little kid anyway. Yeah, I mean, Chris isn't that good of a name anyways. I know, right? <laughs> you know, I think when this is over, Yeah. You know what I think is a good idea? What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Don't be shy! I know, I... I guess this garden over here has gone to the dogs. Oh, yeah, yeah. I did see some dogs rooting around in that earlier in this indoor garden for the christening. <laughs> <laughs> They've done more than root around. Excuse me, sorry, excuse me. Sorry, sorry. Oh, these were such nice roses, too. Oh, this was one of those floral arrangements where it says something. Somebody should have told the dogs that. <laughs> it looks like it said, I need Paul Heyman to do an introduction for me. <laughs> I guess that was for the kid, Chris. Hi, Chris. 
Oh, shouldn't be young. Sorry, Chris. And that lady looks real mad still. I'm sorry. You know what? This is starting to stink, so I'm gonna go walk out okay. here. Excuse this me. is a really Pardon big me. christening hall. Yeah. So, aren't this, isn't this supposed to be a pastor or somebody show up for this? I, I think so, yeah. I've literally never been to one It's of just these. been a bunch of people sitting and a baby in a hammock. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm pretty jealous of that baby right now. Yeah. I got a hammock at home, but it keeps breaking. Are we, are we, gonna, are we supposed to say something to the parents? Uh, I don't see them. I, 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 I'm going to say something to the parents. I, I, I mean, yeah, have I, at it. I, have I, at it. I'm just going to yell it because I feel really confident about what I'm going to say. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. of the christening, I predict the landfill is about to go up next. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Yeah, but you, you get to read it now. Oh, I get to read it. All right. Gravity would be my assumption. All right. Thanks, Aaron Cody Campbell. Uh, it is now time for the Blue Plate Special Talk Show in which there are three panelists and a host, but due to budget cuts, I have to be the host and the first panelist, and I grab two other people off the street to be with me. But we need a topic for this talk show, and I will get questions from you all once we have the topic. The topic of the talk show is what? Sausage. 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 The topic of the talk show is sausage. Good evening and welcome to the Hillshire Farms Report. My name is Robert Johnson. I'm your host, and the uh, first panel for our show is about the exciting world of sausages. Uh, panelist number two, we're, we're glad to have you here. Would you please say hi to the folks at home? Just, just say hello right out there. Hi, everybody. My name is Jeffrey Dean. You know my cousin James. <laughs> uh, uh, I live next to a sausage plant. Uh, Palace number three, say, say hello, please. Hey, I'm Mitchell. Hey, how are you? I, I'm well. I'm you doing well. good? I am. Good. I am. I'm a middle school teacher. Good. Uh, that's a good shake you got there. Thank you. All right, I'm done. Okay. <laughs> uh, who, has a, who has a question about the exciting world of sausage? I have a question. Yes. What's the top seller of sausage? Is it like regular sausage, or is it like the ones that stuff with cheese, or like, what's the most popular? The most popular sausage, well, you know, you would think that it would be the one stuffed with cheese because Americans love to put cheese in places. That's just a common trait of ours. Actually, bratwurst are the most popular because every year around the 4th of July, 14 million bratwursts are sold. I mean, most of the Hillshire farm revenue each year comes from the big sale of our, our bratwurst. Uh, sir, what do you think? What, what, what is the most popular kind of sausage? Uh, the, the most popular yes, kind sir. of sausage? Well. Um, my, my brother James would say ground sausage, but he wasn't ever the smart one of the family. Uh, you know what a better question would be? I don't mean to evade your question, sir, but I do. Uh, your, what's a better question is, what is the most thrown away sausage? Do you guys know that of every pound of sausage that you buy, there's two pounds that they throw out of the back. Huh. I live beside a sausage plant. I know these things. And so if I were going with that information, two pounds, one pound, I'm going to say kielbasa. Kielbasa. Interesting. So that's like a take a penny, leave a penny thing with sausage. Yes. By the pound. Uh, Mitchell. Uh, hey, hey. Hi, How are you? I, I'm well, thank you. Good to see you. Good uh, to what see was you. your name again? Uh, 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 Johnson. That's nice. Um, what, 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 do you, what, what is the most popular type of sausage? I, well, I, I'm sure I don't know that, but uh, so I teach seventh grade at uh, Hopkins Elementary. Mm -hmm. uh, we got a big wide grade there because it's like two schools. Mm -hmm. uh, so little Kevin, he got into the lunchroom the other day and he picked up a sausage and he said, I'm the sausage king! and started running around the cafeteria. And I said, Kevin, stop running. Kevin, stop running. And he slipped on some orange juice and broke his leg. Oh. Is, is Kevin fine now? I don't know. I expelled him. Oh. oh. He's OK. He's back in my house. Oh, well, well good. Uh, who has a, another question about the right here? I saw him. What are your opinions on vegan sausage? Oh, a, contra a controversial topic. And a, 
opinion on vegan sausage. Well, you know, I think that veganism has become more than just a trend because we're seeing a lot of plant-based meats in places now. You know, Whopper has the Impossible Whopper. And I frankly think that if a sausage company wants to keep up these days, introducing plant-based versions of our favorites is very important. Either for people who are going vegan for environmental reasons or health reasons, I think it's just smart to have plant-based options in the uh, portfolio that a company would, would offer. Uh, you know, your, your connection with, you know, your, your, your relations company, well, what's your uh, opinion on vegan sausage? One second. What's a vegan? Uh, someone who doesn't eat animal products of any kind. So no dairy or, or anything. Those people exist? <laughs> yes. And, and they make sausage with, for that. Yeah, I, I, I don't know how, it's some kind of a, a protein thing. Okay, I'm gonna just make this up because I don't know nothing. So, my opinion on vegan sausage uh, is that I also believe in unicorns and fairies. <laughs> is that good? Sure, sure. Uh, Mitchell, what is your Hey, young, young boy, Mitchell, how are you? I, I'm, I'm good. It's so good to see you. I haven't seen you in so long. It's so good to see you, it's too. It's so lonely this here side of the stage. Uh, Mitchell, what is your opinion on vegan sausage? Uh, well, that little Rebecca girl. Uh, I don't eat animals. All right, if you insist. Uh, so Rebecca, uh, I, 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 she's a vegan. I, I had to watch the recess the other day, and... She gets all up on the monkey bars and singing, ah, I'm the sausage queen, wah, wah, wah. And I'm like, oh, don't make fun of Kevin. He broke his leg because of that. <laughs> oh, yeah. So she falls into the monkey bars and gets so tangled that I got to go call the nurse. She calls the fire department. They use the jaws of life on the monkey bars and breaks her leg. <laughs> <laughs> Is she OK? I don't know. Did you expel her? Probably should have if I didn't. All right, we got time for one more quick question about the world sausage, and somebody back there shouted something. Okay, everyone, yes. What is the best non-European sausage? Because I don't like the Germans. The, the, the best non-European sausage is the fine sausage made in Wisconsin, America's dairy heartland. And wouldn't you agree with me? Thank you, Wisconsin. Uh, what your, your, your thoughts on the best non-European sausage? Well. Uh, the, the, the Europeans, uh, especially the, the Germans, I just learned that they were European, thank you. Uh, the Germans have been making fairly good sausage for a while, um, but their technology, they still use what they did uh, uh, at least 200 years ago. And uh, we got new machines at, well, the sausage plant beside my house does. And they do this thing where you take the sausage, you can take hot sausage and mild sausage, and they put one on each side of the machine, and this guy pushes a button, and you hear this, and then it comes out of here, and it's neither hot nor mild, but it goes good with jelly. And I don't think the Germans can do that. So I'm going to go with uh, the sausage from the sausage plant that I live beside. Uh, Mitchell, we're, all, we're, almost out, we're, we're almost out of time, Mitchell, so real, real quick, right. what do you think is the best non-European sausage? Well, let me hop back a subject, because uh, I, I looked through my files. I did expel Rebecca, because she broke her leg playing on the monkey bars after we told her not to. Uh, but what was the question? Germans? Yeah, uh, the so, the yeah German kids. Uh, so we got this transfer kid named August or something. And we go to a field trip at this chocolate factory, and there's a river of chocolate. And I'm telling Augustus, don't go in there. Stay out of it. You'll break your leg. And he says, I'm king of the sausage. And I'm just putting my face in my hands, because the first kid broke his leg after saying that. Second kid broke her leg after saying that. And I just know this kid's going to break his leg. So he slips, 
falls into the Chocolate River, goes up this tube, the, the fire department has to come, they use a fire axe to open the tube, cut the kid's legs both off. Oh. I don't want to hear any more about this. That's all the time we have for the Hillshire Farm Report and all the time for Blue Plate Special. Thank you all very much.